Welcome everybody back to Dredge. We're in the last part. Uh, I kind of just started doing stuff around the Stellar Basin and whatnot. So I still have the prototype parts. Oh wait, um, there is something I can still... No, actually, because I need... Yeah, I don't have any other materials. I do know where I can get wood and possibly bolted cloth, but in the meantime, I won't worry too much about that. Um, what I kind of want to do is figure out the little shrine deal. I know one of the things I need is a hammerhead shark. But I gotta go out and find myself a hand. I gotta go out and find myself a sh hammerhead shark, which thankfully is there's one right here. I want to figure out that shrine first. Oh, come on! Gazing shark. Huge bulbous eyes move about on large fleshy stalks, siphoning energy from its body. Its search is not over. Okay, um, I don't know if aberration versions count, but I'd r probably rather sell that. So that's what I'll do. But yeah, I kind of want to try and get that, tr get that slab of rock puzzle done. Because it's going to be something on the back of my mind for wow. quite a bit of time. God, that's such an ugly one. Wow, $462. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Okay. Back out again. Yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, those two dredging spots have respawned. Because there's another hammerhead shark over this way. As long as this one isn't an app. God damn it! Well, I'm selling that. What are the, f what are the goddamn odds? Both times I go for short. Well, actually, it might, it may be because of this. Now that I'm thinking about it, but I caught a hammer, a standard hammerhead shark before. That was the, the first hammerhead I caught was just a standard. Oh, the next two I get are freaking, are aberration ones, ones with weird ass looking eyes. Jeepers creepers, look at them peepers. Jeepers creepers, look at them eyes. Hey, I got another weird ass shark for ya. Give me 400 bucks. 500? I'm gonna have the money for the hull. Then I just need to find two bolts of cloth and two frickin' uh, pieces of wood. That's... Mm. <laughs> I, I kind of don't want to get get a new hull just yet because I'm just, I'm enjoying the look. I kind of want to enjoy the look of the boat that I've got right now. I know having the, the last hull upgrade is going to be real nice because then I can take a lot of hits and whatnot and have even more storage space. But still, it's like I'm not trying to like go through my upgrades like as fast as possible. So I gotta find another hammerhead shark. Which, I actually have an idea where I can find another one. I'm probably gonna have to wait till morning. So I'm probably not gonna find it at night. I would say this is a day wasted, but I got like $900. I have like a little over a thousand. So I'm not terribly upset. I'm just annoyed. Also, I think I have enough research parts to get the new engine. So actually, to get a twin, to get the twin prop. So I'll rest up so I, lest I go crazy from exhaustion. And.
and put some research into... No, I need like one more, but I can still... Because I want to save it for this stuff. Which I think I have to continue the kind of the story, which I gotta go to the researcher for, but I'm not doing that just yet. I'm wasting time with other thing. Okay, right over there should be a hammerhead. Don't tell me it just despawned. Okay. I saw it start to disappear. I saw this is... Okay, fuck it. I'm just... I'm putting the gazing shark in there and hoping that it works. As neat as it is, it's ticking me off a little bit. Because I don't know if aberrations will work. Okay. There's another one over there. But, I don't know. I won't know until I figure out everything. Okay, and it still has the same storage spot. So I just gotta figure out what other to put in there. So, I gotta... That's gonna be interesting. How... How does this all fit in? Unless... No, that doesn't necessarily work. How would all of these... I think I have to get the other shark close to Greater Marrow, because that's kind of the shape that they do, and then... Come on. Encyclopedia... Marrows. Yeah, the whaler. The bronze whaler. Or, actually, might be it. Might be. Because the whaler. That's not. Hmm. Bronze whaler, and then there's that one, which is around the marrow. Ah, uh, that's a. That's one I can get at. That's one I get at nighttime, though. Then there's. Is there another shark that only takes up three spaces? There's the hammerhead. I got the aberration of it. These are all the aberrations. See that I put it the hammerhead in the wrong spot. right here, though. I think I need to hit... I think it's about time that I use uh, Manifest. I need to go... <laughs> Achievement unlocked! Dimensional bypass. Okay. Back here. So I need to get 
the whaler, and then I think I need to get the one that at night. So now I just gotta find it. Which I think is... Just, yep, over here. There's the bronze whaler. And then I think I need to get the one that comes out at night. Which, yay, nighttime fishing. Uh, haste. Map. Okay, it's all the way over there. All the way in that direction? That direction. Roughly. So I'll go, I guess I'll drop the bronze whaler off and just manifest back. I could have just waited around for night. Actually, I can just scoot around till nighttime. I don't think it matters what condition they're in, whether they're rotting or not. So I can just I can screw around here for a bit, and I can also stop at Little Marrow and sell all my trinkets and probably have. The fuck was it? I think that was a Leviathan again or something. Because my controller vibrated. It was starting to vibrate again. Alright, okay. I need eels. Is this the same or is this different? Okay, it's the same one. Sorry! Okay, it's getting nighttime. So I gotta be able to find. That's bolts of cloth, which I actually need. I need I need two of these. Oh. And it advances time. Don't judge me. Just need two of them. Thankfully, it gave me two. Okay, it's night time. Now to go find myself a shark. Which hopefully, this should be it. Black tip reef shark. So these are the two, and then there's one more. Big ol' nobody nope nope. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I need to put this in this way. I'm gonna sleep. Slab. I think I really should invest in that twin prop. It might, my boat might actually go faster. Okay, there's, I think, the island over there. An encyclopedia. Yes, that is the island. Oh, crap a whale. Nice. Nice. Should be around here. 
am I at the wrong island? Or did I just pass by it and my brain didn't process seeing it? Because it should be over here? And there it is. The human mind, what a wonderful thing it is. I just need one more. Really hope the gazing shark is all right for it. It's still technically the hammerhead, but just weird. There's still one more. Still one more shark to find. Where it is, I have no idea. Hmm. Oh well, I got it mostly figured out, I guess. I'll probably come... I'll th looks like I'll have to do the thing that I hate and come back to that. But for now, I guess I'll continue the story. I kind of want to unlock the ability to uh, fish up uh, the abyssal stuff. So I will just go straight to the researcher. So yeah, I have over a thousand. Oh right, engine, engine, engine. Oh wait, no, I don't have enough because I want I don't have enough research parts. Never mind, researcher, researcher, researcher. Actually, I didn't want... Yeah, I'm, I'm a little off course. Looks like I'm taking the long way. I'm taking the scenic route. There's wood. You know what? Never mind, I'll go back. And I'll dredge... Ah, I'm so freaking slow now. I'll dredge up this wood while I'm at it. I need, like, two pieces of wood. For the hull. Oh my god, I'm so slow. I don't like it. Oh, now I'm gonna go crazy. Oh, what the frick? How was that? It's a good thing it it's a good thing the one consistency is the how much it no whoops. Uh shipyard. Ugh. Uh, I'll wait till morning. Is my impatient dumbass. Okay. Let's try this again. This time I won't blow up my engine. Thankfully, I'll be honest, I kind of wish I gave the other... My little engine, my little heart engine the heart attack. Fish up. Could fish that up, probably get enough money for the new hull, but don't worry about it. Don't. don't. All right, I did. I gotta put the wood away in storage. I can do it here, thankfully. 
Okay. Researcher. Oh, hello again. What do you need? I got the prototype part. Excellent. Let me assemble a device for you. This should allow you to catch specimen from much greater depth. You may be able to make some improvements. Uh, sampling device. Abyssal. Fantastic. So it takes... I don't have enough space. Hold on. Yeah. Crap. I'm gonna uninstall this and put it to storage. I can sell it later. Hope... Uh... Hopefully when I install that I can get the other stuff for I can get the other abyssal stuff. Cause I just lost my ability to fish an oceanic. Now I developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking or enrage it. I'm not sure. Connect it to the research outpost generator. You'll have to re-engage it every few hours, but other than that, it's completely automated. Great. Now take a look at uh, this list of specimens. Remember, I want you to install and activate the machine before attempting to collect these. You might also need to improve the equipment I gave you to catch some of these. Anglerfish. Giant anthropod. Loose jaw. Snailfish. So I can get, I can get the loose jaw and the anglerfish because they're abyssal. But I need to get some other things. Is there anything else? No. Okay, I can't put research into it, and I'm going to pause my recording because I actually really need to use the bathroom right now. Okay. Sorry for that cut. I could not hold it any longer and had to use the turlet. So, yeah, now I can research this stuff. The bottomless line and whatever this is. Fathomless winch. Now I don't need the hydraulic line anymore. Because now I have the winch. Sweet. Now I just gotta go buy it. So, yeah, I can do that. Okay, sorry for that cut. I noticed uh, my frames dropped a bit, and yeah, my uh, encoder overloaded on OBS. So I had to stop the recording, make sure, and then start back up again. That's, at least that's one thing, at least when I noticed that when the frames drop in my game, I know it's something to do with my recording. Which, this happened a couple of times in Shadows Overloading. So, I got, it's just something I gotta keep my eye out for, and hopefully I can fix. It's just, honestly, it's just like the only fix I could do at the moment is just stop my recording and then start it up again. So, I'll have to edit in, like, the first 20-some minutes. Probably cut out the part where the video just stops and my audio keeps going. And then back to this point. So, let me sell all my crap. $200. Nice. Uh, research. Let me get this twin jet drive. Or at least let me see how much it costs. Twenty-five. Am I gonna get enough? Yes. I sell these. I get an. I'll, I'll have enough. Well, that's interesting. So if I move you over here, and then I get. You put you in here. Keep it unlocked. No time to linger. Nice. 
Nice. Now I should be really cruising. Okay. So, I need to put the freaking dealy bob over be able to fish around that area. So, I will go and do that. So, I am not screwing around with that giant gaping maw. But I can also get some angler fish over here. I can at least grab one and take it back to the researcher. Ugh. Ugly bastard. I think Finding Nemo definitely just made me a f like kind of fear. I wouldn't I won't necessarily say fear, considering that I'm probably never gonna go deep enough in the ocean to see an anglerfish myself. But I just don't like the look of them. I can get whatever that is over there. Actually, I can go check and see what that is. Oh, that's right. That's the loose jaws. Uh, researcher. Yes, got your anglerfish. Now I just need the other thing. Focus on that, then I guess I'll look around the area, because I know there's a couple of other spots I can fish up some stuff that was really deep below, and man, my boat be a-cruising. Oh, hey. Didn't even notice that. Thankfully, it's not a freaking crab. That's anglerfish. There's that thing right there. It's getting close to nighttime. Generator. A uh, small. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Propulsion machine hums and where's the life? A few seconds later, a bright light shoots from atop and the alarms begin blaring. Researchers said it should keep the creature at bay for a time at least. So fish there while I can. Don't know what the hell this thing is. Gulper eel. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I don't like it. Okay. There's the snailfish. Oops. Now I just need an anthropod, which I think is right here. And then over here is the relic. Okay, I am done with this area. So, I am gonna go to the researcher and just drop the things that she needs off, as well as probably sell my eel, my disgusting ass looking eel. It's funny because uh, that's that eel's not even an aberration. It's just ugly. There we go. I have good news and bad news. Bad news. The bad news is that the sample you retrieve from the basin have dangerously high counts of cellular mutation. The good news is that I've honed in on what's causing the abnormalities in the ecosystem. It all points to one thing. At the basin, is a harm f that thing at the basin is harmful to life at a cellular level it's dangerous it dangers everything around it whether passively or with intent i need to write up a report on my findings sorry our finding sorry our findings immediately 
Maybe now they'll take me seriously. Oh, how rude of me. You've done all this for me, and I've got... And I've not got much to say. Thank you with, um... should have this. A book. Something I wrote during my studies. I think it'll be useful to you. Thanks again for your help. I'd recommend that you avoid the area. It doesn't seem safe to be near the basin. No shite. Okay. How are you looking? You're still fresh. Still got a research part. That's... I don't really need... I don't really... Well, other than the fact of the ridiculous fishing speed, I don't really need to put it into that. Yeah, engines. A hulking mess of an engine boasting in considerable speed. This is... These will be the next two that I'm going to be working on. So I need... Ten. Nine. No, I don't have enough space. So I can just warp back to Blackwater Isle anytime I want to. Oh, look at me go! There's an aberration in here. I get good muns for it, so that's why I'm kind of fishing here. There it is. A little extra cash. I need it for... I, I'm going to need the extra cash for the hull. Barrel eye. Void eye. Inside its eye, a perpetual pattern repeats. Red cyclones meld through shimmering green swirls. The abyss burns through you. That's nice. Aside from that, I really, I really want to figure out how to do the little shark puzzle thing. Because there's just one that I'm missing. That's barracudas, aren't isn't it? Yep. Those are angler fish, aren't they? Indeed, they are. Mm. Indeed, they are. I've caught before. I don't recognize it. Huh. Blackfin tuna. No, it is not. Catch two of those. 
That's nice. Is there anything out here in the open ocean? What happens if I like try to go outside? I'm probably gonna die. Especially because it's nighttime. Wait, there really is just nothing out here, is there? Looks like that's the edge of the map. Oh, there's a zoom. Oh, that's uh, that's as far as I can zoom out. Hmm. See some fish, but no fish in spot. Here's somewhere I can fish. Oh. More of these guys. More barrel eyes. I mean, you can barely see anything. Thank God for the lighthouse. No, 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 no. No whispering. Stupid Eldritch Mist making me go crazy. How's my fish looking? Fresh, fresh. Crash. Uh, more tuna. Whoa! Something. I don't like that. Infected. All right, then screw you. Who needs you? Okay. Moonfish. Okay. Looks like it's starting to get daytime again. Good old... That's not a hammerhead. That's something different. Ghost shark. Hey, this might be what I need. Where's... Not encyclopedia, map. Uh-oh. No. No, you don't. Blackfin, okay. Took the tuna. Screw you guys. I'm resting here. Next to the donk is a derelict campsite. Strange symbols are scratched. Another one. It's right over here. <laughs> Excuse me. 
you slide the four sharks into the fissure. They slip down it out of sight. Moments later, you spot something rising towards the surface of the water. Oh, cool. That way, but this gives me... Yeah, that gives me oceanic as well, so... As nice as this is, I... Viscera Crane, a traitorous device crafted in the deep. It will raise its kindred to the light. Okay, that's nice if I had the space for it. If I had the extra space for it. Just put it in my storage for now, I guess. How's my... That's fresh. Eh, I won't be able... I'll discard this as well, because I'm not going to be able to make it back in time. I'm kind of done for the Stellar Basin. So, I will head to Little Marrow and sell all my trinkets. Get a crap ton of muns, probably get the next hull. To be honest, I can't really end it off right then and there. I st I'm only roughly half an hour or so in. Probably head to whatever the next area is. Uh, my storage. Grab everything. Though I think I can just sell everything in storage, but I want to be able to... S I don't think it tells me how much, or if it does, I'm an idiot. Put that away for a moment. That stays. Goblet of not fire. Doubloon. Another sapphire ring. Trader, 868 and 20, uh. Cash for gold, achievement unlocked. I'm just under to be able to get, uh, blessed up to get that hull upgrade. Which, yeah, that's fine. Not on my biggest to-do list. So, I will head back to the manor and continue this. Give the guy, give the collector the relic, and then go get my heading towards the next area. Oh, that's right. I could get, I can get the ore fish. Because, hold on a second. Uh, pursuits. Catch rare fish. There's the ore fish, there's. Oh, the gulper eel! was one of them. So I got the thing for the Stellar Basin. I gotta go back to get the ore fish. Goliath tiger fish. So. I know where the ore fish is at. So. Achievement unlocked. The bond. You walk in and place the jewel encrusted ring on the table by the collector. His eyes widen. We're certainly making excellent progress now, and I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction, but for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you are due a reward. He opens the Crimson Book, its spine cracking audibly, selecting a page carefully, and begins to read aloud. The words sound, muffle, sound muffled as though he's speaking through a thick haze. You hear a growl crackling in your ear. Suddenly, your vision flares, both your ears pop, and he closes the book. 
We must keep searching. I've been thinking on where we might find another. I can imagine all manner of detritus swallowed by its slit slitty muck of twisted strands channels is worth investigating. I'll mark the location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Uh, uh banish. The banishing words will provide you a temporary protection from most things, if spoken swiftly enough. They can be used Ah cool. So if I have a defense shield from Eldritch shit. Thank you. Undock. Moop. So I gotta go this way. But I need to go back to the Gale Cliffs real quick to get the ore fish, because I think I needed abyssal to get what I needed. And besides, my boat is pretty, pretty dang fast. So there's, looks like two other, two more uh, abilities to get. Dispel evil for a time. So, moop. Right over there. Which, actually, having this would be real nice to use in the Gale Cliffs. I will grab you, so that way I can have, get a little extra money. Oh, I can fit a second one in there. Not in my world of streams, because I think I could ever fit two sailfish in there. What amazing. That's amazing. That's the ship. Okay, and I'll look for the oarfish in the morning, because screw going through there at night. Oh, I think I had such a problem with a giant friggin' fish that was haunting these areas. There we go. Yep, now I've got enough for the new hull. I I'll wait till I get to the ne to the next area to put on the new hull. I kind of want to wait a little bit before I just jump into using it. I want to enjoy the current hole that I've got for now. Then I can worry about dredging stuff up. Okay. I can cut right through here. Uh, banish, just in case Fuckface McGee comes to bother me again. I'll know if my controller starts rumbling. Behind the waterfall, this should be the oarfish. It is. The only reason I could figure that out is because it, it, cause I think you can get an oarfish in Animal Crossing, and I just remember that from when at whatever Animal Crossing clip that I've seen. Might as well do a little extra fishing around here. Eh? Ooh, decaying blackmouth. Doesn't hurt to earn some extra money on the side. Don't know, does it? Especially if I keep getting decayed, the decayed uh, black mouths. Where's the perch? That's not. That's not them. Nah, it's not. Some stuff I could dredge over here. Looks like bolts of cloth. Here's the perch. Fit in the extra sports. Yeah. Control is rumbling. Where's he at? 
I got something for him. I can check the crab pots, but unless I specifically need a crab from an area, I'm not gonna worry about it. There we go. Ooh. That's a lot of muns. Mm. Nah, I was thinking about getting a light. Use up that light space, but nah. Never mind. Uh, manifest. Whoops. Not. Oh, it's like a flare. But not what I wanted to do. At least I get to check it out. Rest till the morning. And then I'll be on my way to the Twisted Strands and start. Actually, I'd probably really be able to focus on doing the story stuff pretty quick. Though, I, of course, I want to be doing some exploring, uh, map. Yep, just up and over. <laughs> I get there, I start... Oh! Whoops. No, I thought I had haste. I guess I'd never... I didn't actually explore these islands over here. Steel points. So I get I can check out these islands as well as these little bits and also go over to Steel Point. Do a little bit of exploring before I jump straight into the story again. Trinkets? Trinkets. There's just a bit of rusty chain. It's over here. If they're tr if I know they're trinkets, then yeah, I'll probably go for it more than materials. Broken monocle. To be honest, I've kind of always wanted to get a monocle. Like I, I wear glasses, but I I would also really love to have a monocle. Boat alongside a boat call out. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? A fisherman. What do you want? Just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. But it's, uh, I'm supposed to deliver this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in those deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. I would have been swallowed if the, it would have swallowed this vessel hold if I hadn't bolted for the shores. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. I'll deliver it. Would you? Well, that would work, I guess. Courier pushes the lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it. Your hand dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound to the dark work at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen. I know it sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. No, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful with this whatever thing, whatever it is. Hey, why don't you take this with you, too? And he gives me a book. Nice. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Too bad your boat's not like mine, so uh, I can be a zoom a zoomin'. Look at me go! And yet I still have that nice little beating heart engine pumping life and speed into my boat, even though it, on its own, it is very fucking slow. Oh, that took no time at all, now did it? 
Uh, dock worker. Got a package here for you. A delivery, eh? Oh, a big one, let's see. He takes a large package and examines it gently with his hand. He lifts it one ear, listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word to you or compensation. Jackass! Okay, I'm almost done with the uh, plan for the future. Alright, um. Oh, right. The traitor. I can just get rid of my junk. $23 in total. Skitty. The monocle's at least worth 50 Okay, uh, I can check these islands around here, because I haven't in a while. I don't think I ever really looked that much around these. Maybe I have. Thanks again for helping me. I've managed to set myself up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. Just give me a book. Okay. So this is just a nice place to stop. So that's another book. Stuff to dredge. Not really worried about it. Yeah, I don't think I've really ever explored around here that much. Yeah, Stingray. I haven't caught one of these. I knew I didn't. That's why I kind of fished her up. And now it's night time. Black groupers. Some over. Oh, SOS. Oh. I'm saved. Saved. Oh, you're a, uh, I'm trying to think of a voice here. Oh, you're a safe for sore eyes. What happened? I washed up here. Oh, it must be some two weeks ago now. We were in rough season. When the wave hit us broadside, I was jolted overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would have come to find me by now, but you're. But yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you to look for me? No. Oh, well, I'm sure they're out looking, anyways. Can you take. Can you give me the little Merrill Stranger? I should be able to catch them there when they stop by next. Okay. Going back to Little Merrill. Making a lot of trips there today. Of course, I'm doing this at the dead of freaking night. And it's raining. The sweet, rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. And turning gives. He turns to you for someone who's just been saved. He seems gloomy. I've got not much on me, as you can imagine, and I feel like this isn't worth much anymore. For me, at least. But perhaps it's worth something to you. It removes a signet ring. Huh. <laughs> Ship wheel sigil embezzled, emblazoned proudly on the ring. Such a symbol is sure to bring good luck to any captain that holds it. Huh. Well, I'm not... How much can I get? Wow, 103. I'm actually gonna keep it. Seems a little important. I'll head over to Greater Marrow, sell my stuff to the fishmonger. I haven't seen the fishmonger in a while. I wonder how he's doing. I wonder how that old codger's up. I wonder what that old codger's up to. The lighthouse keeper approaches you on the dock wearing a questioning expression. You must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever it is you're looking for? Almost. She shifts her weight and leans hard against her staff. How can you be sure? The last time you thought you knew, look what happened. 
She turns from you, shaking her head and muttering. She heads back towards the lighthouse. Fishmonger! If you're ever hunting for a specific species, check your encyclopedia. It could have the information you need. Thank you kindly. Alright. Shipwright, dry dock. Rest till morning. Okay, head back out to the island, to that bit of island, to those bits of island. Check around there for anything else, if it's just dredging spots and whatnot. Whether it's materials or trinkets. Shipwreck. Inside the stern. Ah, ha, ah, ah. ha, research part. Perfect. Scrap. Pearl earring. Cloth. Looks like some wood over there to dredge up. I don't think I'm going to be able to get every research upgrade. At the very least, I want to get the last engine. And not really... Uh, there's a... There's this thing. Not gonna worry about it. I don't, really, I don't really know how to activate those. Doesn't seem like there's much else around here. Seems to be the case. There ain't really much else around here. It's a good thing I got helped out that castaway. At least I can know I can come back here and dredge up some good materials. Storage, research, earrings, bolts, scrap metal. Alright. Um. Nope. Okay, there's these bits of islands, and then there's these two that I want to check out. Let's see if there's anything more over here, or it's just the guy who's probably gone by now, and that looks like to be the case. Yep. He gone. Looks like a trinket I can dredge up. Another broken monocle. Okay. Let's head straight. I should begin to that island at some point. Of course, it's getting night time. Hey! Fifteen percent chance to not reduce fish stock when catching a fish with a rod. Uh, getting over it with mind and body. For some reason, I want to say that's a reference to getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Getting over it with mind and body. Bennett, mind and body, Bennett Foddy. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Something over there. Is this the island? This is the island. Don't know what I'm expecting to find, but open there to be there's looks like there's already something. Oh, come on, not another one of you. Fisherman, feed. Uh, feed 
the mouth. I... Okay. I don't know where a tarpon is at. Because I don't think I've caught one. If I had to guess, it's somewhere in the Twisted Strands. Yep. Seems like I'm right about that. Great, another one of you. That's just what I wanted. Anything else around here? It's a busted up looking plane. Ah, oh, sextant. Nice. Oh, that! Ah, that's a crap! That's a crap! That's a crap! God damn it! You fucking asshole! Screw you too, jackass! Research? Oops. Yeah, that's the old fortress. That's good. I can rest. I can rest there till morning. I think something tried to infect something in my cargo hold, but I didn't have any fish. So screw you. Jane, get... Oh, okay. Time to go a little crazy. Doc. Rest till morning. Okay, put those in there. Put research. I want the... Yeah, the engine stack. If I don't get the jet drive, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it, but... I get to the new area, look around a bit, maybe I'll get the new hull. Hopefully this is the fish that the guy wants. No. It's right over. Uh looks like I can get a trinket over here. I'm right. I got a fancy boot. I do not like those giant crabs. Thankfully, none of them have touched me or hit me, but I don't like them. Sneaking little conniving son of a gun. Alright, time to head, make my way to the Twisted Strands. Start finding the guy over here, the fish that he wants, I guess. Or at least know the spots to fish him up. Get me that brand new hull. The last one. Teeth, half muscle, this fish's sole purpose is the pursuit of its unfortunate prey. Hui. Well, I'm here, I just gotta find the pontoon.
Gray mullet. Entwined mullet. Twisting, twitching tendrils sprout from the gill plates of this little fish. They heave in unison, moving the fish against its will. No, 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 no. Damn it! Okay, I think I see the pontoon. What the fuck? What the hell? Rest. <sighs> yeah, uh, let's get that new hull upgrade. <laughs> Tier full hull upgrade. Achievement locked. Hull advanced. All right. Now I just gotta. Start finding materials for these last few upgrades. Which, 300, 600, 350, 200, yeah, they aren't cheap. Oh, look at my boat now, though. Oh, look at this boat. Okay. I gotta find a tarpon for the one guy. Alright, man. What the? Oh, what the hell is that? Well, as long as it stays over there, I'm just gonna keep fishing. Uh, crooked talons hang from its fins. Periodically, they shudder and come together, gasping like a ha grasping like a hand. I'm gonna say I don't think I need. I need materials, not really. I don't really need money. How many hits can I take? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can take six hits. Time and it's this foggy. Sturgeon fish. Vortex interloper. I'll read that description in a second. Uh, a slow swirl twists its body, stretching towards an unseen dimension. Huh. Should really stop. I'm just trying to find, I think it was a tarpon? That's what the hooded figure wanted. Okay, I really need to stop fishing. Oh, I see you in the water over there, you... I don't appreciate that. This message is in a bottle. A 
A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at a wooden stake. He stands as you pull ashore. Oh, and he's got one. Oh, he's got one arm. He lost an arm. <laughs> Stranger, from the look on your face, I'd say you've encountered the local wretches. Take a seat. You join him by the fire. I've been trying to rid them of this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. The boys call them mind suckers on account of them. Well, affecting the mind. Oh, I have banished, so I can get rid of the thing if it's chasing me. They make us see things. Do things. I'd ask you for safe passage away from here, but not until after I avenge my squadron. What happened? A number of us went down in the fall, crashed into trees, or ditched in, ditching into the water. Those that survived rallied here under this under the boss ugh, under the giant tree but it offered us scant protection before our help could arrive scant our numbers quickly dwindled picked off by the fiends in the forest i've met i've met a few would be rescuers over the years but none would help me in my fight are you any different to the rest i can help I figured you'd be up for it. You, you have the look. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. We'll then use it to bombard the beasts. Other planes went down to the north and east of where we are now. I'll mark the possible crash sites on your map. You go and see what you can salvage. How will I honor your squad mates? I've hung a few of their dog tags up on the tree behind me. It seems fitting enough. But I've only got tags for the ones... I. Uh, you must understand, I never found all their bodies. If you happen to find any other dog tags, I could add them to the tree with their brothers. I have a number of mechanical doodads that might they might find useful. Here, take this one. In good faith, I'll give you more for each tag. You bring me research parts! Okay. One step closer to the engine. I just need two more. for some reason it's itching. I don't know why. Okay. So... Okay. Uh, while I'm in here, I should have Banish ready just in case. There's a spot I could use explosives for. But I don't have any on me at the moment. Oh, I should have checked the... Okay. I need to check the pontoon. Yeah, go away! What the? Okay, looks like I'm not going that way. Not until more. Shipyard. Also. Ooh. Incandescent array. Light up the night. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Research. Engines. Yeah, yeah. One more. If I can find at least one dog tag, I can get the research part. Alright. Let's try her again.
mortar barrel. Scrap metal. I do need to start dredging materials. I need dog tags though. Fix my ship. Okay. Mm. Back into her. I gotta go find the other sh the other uh me. Don't want to look. Okay, here's a place I can use some explosives. Oh, I was, uh, I was around the Gale Cliffs. I could have bought some. I think I found the rare fish of this area. Something for a dog tag. Yep, Goliath Tigerfish. So I just need to find the rare fish of the Devil's Spine. I should be done with that pursuit. That ain't really glowing. Longfing eel. Oops. Ah, here it is. Here's the tarpon. Okay, so they, they come out at night. So now I can give it to the guy. Over at the island, I'll get that done. I think I'm gonna need like three to give him three or four fish. Rest till morning, cause screw going out at night. Okay. Map. It's over this way. That island over there. Let's get a move on. Found your stinking tarpon. <sighs> as long as he's not... Well, he's gonna make me run all the way out, all over the place for different fish. It's too, it's too nice to assume that he's just going to have me collect fish in this area. Yes, I have your fish. They hold the fish in front of the face, studying it with a tight grip. Fish collapses under, on itself under the pressure. Uh, looks like the gory mess picks out heart, places it on the tongue. Sustain the mind. Horseshoe, horseshoe crab. Of, right, that's right. Okay. 
I gotta get a crab pot and dump it somewhere around this area, because I bet you that's where the that's where I'm gonna find the horseshoe crab. You know what? He's probably gonna have me get something with the trolling net. That's specific to the trolling net. Yes, yeah, so I'm a little annoyed how foggy it gets around here. Makes it a wee bit hard to see out and around here. But I guess that's really the point. Alright. Go back out through here and find the other uh, plane. I think I found the puzzle. The twisted shape of a deformed fish is barely recognizable carved into the rock face. The twisted shape of a deformed... Uh, that's a good question on what the frick I'm supposed to put here. Huh. Well, at least I found the uh, found the uh, the rock slab for this area. I just gotta figure it out what I gotta do. Okay, it should be over here. There it is. Frame. Don't. Scrap metal. Oops. Got the amount of space I have on my ship. Oh, it's it's so nice. And I think I can still get uh, more space. Hey, research part. Oh, there we go. I can get the the next engine. The engine stack, I think it's called. Ah! It is a reference. A strange journey smattered with quotes and wisdoms that promise enlightenment, but towards the end it becomes a tedious and unrewarding slog akin to climbing a mountain. An odd mix of relaxation and frustration. Maybe I'll read it again someday. Yeah, that is a reference to getting over with bedded body. I s That's gotta be. Okay, I'm just gonna do some fishing. Hopefully, past the time. At least till morning. Oh, that's actually active. Huh. Sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm. A deep vision enters your mind. A man flees through the trees, bloodshot eyes wide with terror. He runs to a dead end, cornered by the murky waters 
and his pursuer, he turns. A wooden spear fl flies and finds its mark. That's interesting. Camp's actually right there. Catfish! Don't have room. Message in a bottle. Tattered receipt. Gunsmith and Son. Number 27, Low Marrow, December 22nd, 1926. Received the sum of $50.00 in exchange for one silver necklace with emerald and silver mounting. Received a further three dollars for custom engraving on reverse of mounting. Customer in return, return tomorrow for collection engraved is to be as followed. For Jay, my shining star. All right, and I can blow this up. <clears throat> Kaboom! Uh, airman. Everything's going. I found parts of the mortar. That's the lot. That's a lot now. While I work on assembling the mortar, you, you can start on the next phase of the plan. <laughs> you may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoon around here. I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers. We just need to lure them in. Once they're in, you can see I can, I can fire them with our new mortar, and that'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. <laughs> I'll mark the locations of the trap on your map. Got it? Understood. What's next? I need you to make three special baits from different combinations of fish. Okay. Uh... Okay, so the mullet and that. Got it. Bait for the second one. Catfish! I do have that. The last one. Two of those eels. Okay. Storage. They're gonna be gotten rid of pretty soon. Research. Engine stack. Rest. And I'll call it. I'll call that a video right there. And that'll do it for this part of Dredge. Thank you all for coming by to watch this. I really appreciate it. You all know the deal with the outro. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you all will return for the next video. Until then, everybody, have a good day.